righteous kings. As I indicated on many occasions, it's not our intention to discuss this case in the media. It's not our intention at all. And also, we totally understood the importance of avoiding the media sensations regarding this case. And the court admonished all the parties. Um, we, we agree with the court. We understand the importance of uh, trying to leave things as they are. However, we were surprised to see the incessant commentary by Mr. Yule Doche and Judy through their bloggers, their favorite bloggers. Their, their constant commentary on the case is so problematic because uh, their commentaries are misleading, they are outright lies. Indeed, we were surprised by the recent effort by one of the bloggers to make allusions to the fact that the court did not sit the last time. And the manner in which she put it was so troubling because they were celebrating and taking credit for the fact that the court did not sit, and they made it sound as if they had something to do with the fact that the court did not sit. Whereas, in fact, the court did not sit because the court had reasons not to sit. It has nothing to do with what any of the parties did. The court acted on its own volition and on its own best judgment, and we totally accept that. We understand the circumstances of the court. However, we were disappointed to see anybody come out there and make this terrible insinuation that they had something to do with the courts not sitting, or celebrating the fact that the court did not sit, or treating it as if it was some sort of victory for them. That was unfortunate. Because of that, many people contacted us. I have been um, uh, overwhelmed with requests and pressures and messages from people who wanted to know why the court did not sit, who wanted to know what is going on in the, case, in the case. I have tried as much as possible to send everybody away, to say no, go to court, but they couldn't come to court because the hearing is so much uh, done privately. It's not to be open to everybody to walk in there and ask questions or observe the proceedings in court. So we have been in there in a, in a, in a dilemma of sorts. On the one hand, we want to keep quiet, uh, but on the other hand, it's important to correct the, the false information being given out, or like being given out by, by uh, from the youth uh, camp. It's unfortunate. My message to all of you remains to please be patient, wait for the court to tell us what to do, for the court to show the direction. Uh, we are confident in justice for me. In fact, if I may go further to say it, May doesn't really have much to worry about at this point. On the main issue of divorce for adultery, on the main issue that there was adultery, May doesn't have much to prove anymore because Mr. Yule Doche himself admitted that he and Judy produced a baby. They denied being married, that's all right, but they admitted they had a baby. We are saying that if you had a baby, then you had adultery has been admitted. It's been admitted by the other side, and that's what is in the main the main issue. Adultery has been admitted by Mr. Yudetoche. Okay, and Judy, I would say, they both admitted that they had a child together. So let nobody worry, let nobody try to get information. We're gonna wait for the court to tell us the rest of the matter. But as far as the main issue is concerned, May has very little to prove because the issue has been admitted by the other side. So that's what it is. Avoid the blogs. Try as much as possible to avoid the blogs. Uh, and you have to be patient. The information is not fully out. You have to be patient. But don't accept these blog stories. They were sponsored by somebody who wants to sell you a dummy and give you a false impression of the opposition in the case. It's a very straightforward case. Many of you now understood what happened. Okay? On the issue of whether there was a marriage or not is secondary issue. 
All right? Me, me is pursuing dissolution of marriage and the ancillary relief. That's straightforward matter. Okay? I encourage all of you to be patient, to ignore the blogs, to ignore an attempt to mislead you or misrepresent what is going on in court. Okay? And for those of you who are friends of me, don't worry. We have, we have, we have full confidence in the court. We have full confidence that this court will do justice in the end. We are not worried at all. And you shouldn't be worried either. Thank you. My country people. Hmm. Nothing where Musa no go see forget oh nothing we no go hear you oh make una share this video my wonderful and amazing people as all of una see and say may a doch a legal thing it don't come use mouth they talk some kind some kind of things when it be say may a doch a fans that they worry because no no say. One certain time now, with the yes, say they say one blogger they when you a doche and you also they pay for then they defend you a doche for social media for YouTube. Uh, I think so, yeah. That uh, you and uh, me, uh, did you also that they are not deny say they not be husband and wife. So now you can make me a legal team because they drop since uh, four days ago, guys. Me a legal team because they drop a lot of evidence. Say make una we be made fans not listening to that blogger that that blogger that they lie that you edochi and eko esu they deny for court say they not be husband and wife not they get but he uh, may legal team can't let us know say we the may fans make we not worry that may not go lose and that may not get anything to prove again because why you even though say you and Eko Esu deny say they not be husband and wife, but thank God, they not deny say they not get picking together. Oh, you and Eko Esu they admit say they get picking, they get children together. So that um for that one a big evidence, you know, for courts to take proof say yes they do uh a daughter. So now be waiting me legal team come tell us say. These people, they think that they get, they get sense. They're not wise. They don't get sense. When I deny for court, say, when I not marry. But when I come agree, when I come at need, say, when I get picking together. So, with, which means you and Eko Esu, when I don't do, when I don't commit, I don't do. And me legal team say, that is enough proof to me that me don't even need any, you know, come to prove anything. Only that children, where they say they get together. Now, proof. Yes, you know, see, this is our actor, eh? If this man they claim, if they play, you know, smart, in, in the play, say, in smart, whereas he's not smart, he don't know anything. Now, me, a doche, now he be the person who be they cover this man for a very long time, oh. Hmm. Okay, how you want it, like, can't change waiting talk for cause? Because you don't know, say, if he deny, say, he not marry a kwesu. You know, no, say without picking when you already talk for court, say they get children together. That one a big evidence for the adult with the define. <laughs> my people, my people, this matter, eh? The thing they sweet may not be so much something. Ah, God go bless this me legal team. You see, my people, eh? Anything we wanna hear, say. Or uh, you, uh, you and Equus who do for courts that they not deny anything. Don't believe oh, these people. They know how to manipulate things. They know how to deceive oh. If you believe, now you know that is why me legal team they come out. They expose all of them that that blogger na pure lie. That na our actor and Equus who now they pay that blogger may they come they give una wrong information. My people make wanna share this video. A lot of people they need to see him. And me legal team don't first drop one thing when he can't talk about uh, the bigamy. How me refuse to sue you Edoche for bigamy just because of one reason. Guys, drop your comments and share. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys later and bye. bye.